day, everybody. Y'all look good, family. Mm, mm, mm. You just look like a ball of sunshine. Just look at you looking good. It's so good to see you and look you upside the head on today. Thank you for coming to see about little old me, as I always say. Now, you know we celebrate everything here at the J. Hud Show. I like saying J. Hud at the J. Hud Show. Yes. But today is an extra special day because it is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Yes. And I wanted to pick a mug today that represented his message. And it's let freedom ring, okay? Do you see it? You know? Let me take my sip in the name of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. That's for sure, but it's definitely a time, you know, where we should all stop and take it in and think about, you know, his investment in us. And most importantly, the example and how he lived, you know? Yes. Because it's, it, I think, you know, we all live off of, of his prayers, his dreams, you know? And, and it's, you know, his trying. And to think of his, I have a dream speech. Like, when I think of it, it's like he, I, the dreams that I get to dream up and the things that I get to do and the things we get to see our children do and even us sitting here together. Yeah. 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 It was his dream. And oftentimes I sit back and wonder when I see things, as my mother used to say, just sitting back watching the world. And I look back and I wonder, and I say, I wonder what would he think of us as a people today and how far we've come, you know? Or will he look back at himself and say, servant, well done, you know? Because again, this was his dream and goal. But not only of us, for us to live our dreams, but for us to be able to come together as, as human beings and be on one accord. Yeah. So I can only say, I hope, you know, we're doing okay. And, and yes, we have ways to go, but you know, because of him, we're able to dream and continue on with the things in, in life that we aspire to be due to his legacy. Yeah. And I got to visit his birth home I guess it was maybe a year or so ago when I did the movie Respect and I got to play Miss Aretha Franklin. <laughs> and it, it's like, you know how when you're young, you see something, but you don't understand it? So as a child, I got to go to that same house, you know, and, you know, visit it and everything, but I didn't understand. I didn't have that understanding until and then when I went back for Respect. And, and here I am dressed as a young Aretha Franklin who was a part of the movement. And she used, it showed me how we can use our platforms to make a difference and how we must come together to make a difference. And yes, like, this was him when she got her Aretha Franklin day and he came and spoke or she helped, she went on tour with him. That's where she started out, on tour with Dr. King, being a part of the movement. Yes, she was there in song. And then the thing for me, what, as an actress and being able to portray yet another legend as Ms. Aretha Franklin and seeing her sing for his funeral. And I couldn't help but to feel for that moment even more. You know, um, being able to go back in a time like that and thinking of these people are still human beings. Dr. King Jr. was somebody's son. You know what I mean? Aretha Franklin was somebody's child. And they were young young African-American people out there fighting for a better cause, and to see her have to stand up there, be as close as she was to a Dr. King, where she even called him uncle, and, and to know how we all were affected by his loss. And then for her to have to stand up there, hold it together, and sing to lift everyone else up at a time like that while she was mourning and losing someone that she called uncle and to see someone everyone lost who was fighting for such a cause for all of us. So to, to understand the human, as I say, it, it costs a lot, you know, to think about what they've done. So when you moved away from it, sometimes it's hard to see what that cost was and that that was a, someone who may have been nervous, who may have been afraid, but he was brave enough to fight so that we could all have the right to be sitting here together today. 
And to think, um, Stevie Wonder is yet another one of those people. And apparently he gave up three years of his career to help fight for him to have the Dr. King Jr. Day, okay? So it shows, and that was, it wasn't official until 1983. And again, it's like, wow, yes, yeah, some, in some schools we get to learn of these things, but these are things we do need to keep in our schools so we can know our history, so we can move ahead. So I just wanted to put that little bit out there in honor of Dr. King Day. Yes. And Stevie Wonder also wrote that good old famous song, Happy Birthday to you, okay? To Dr. King as well, which we all know so well. So that's just some little fun facts in our history and celebration of Dr. King that I had to acknowledge on this day. So let's all, when we go out, make a point to make it count what you're doing your day. As simple as making a difference and helping a friend or connecting with somebody in a way that he will want us to, if we can. Please take the time to reflect and remember his legacy that he left and that we all live off of that legacy today. So happy birthday to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> oh, but we love you. We have a great show, y'all. We'll be right back. So our first guest was on Saturday Night Live and he does the best impressions you'll ever see. So please welcome Jay Farrell to the Jennifer Hudson Show. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So we've never met before. Of course, I've seen you. I didn't a bit even know everywhere. that you knew I existed. What do you mean? Why do everybody say that? Because like I don't, like you you got okay you got an Emmy a Grammy <laughs> an Oscar and a Tony. So. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I'm just I'm just trying to be like you. Oh you know what goodness. I mean? And I really didn't think that you knew who I was. Even I went to the Respect premiere. You did. And you know, you did fa fa phenomenal. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Didn't you do amazing? You did amazing. Coming from you. Yeah, oh, come on now. I, I watched that. You, Marlon, and Thank you. it was actually the last time I got to see Michael K. Williams, because mm. that was my friend, and I thought he was embracing Marlon, yeah. and they were having that moment. And I said to myself, man, I, I said, I'm going to see him later. I'm going to see him later. Yeah. And then I heard uh, what happened to him, man, so wow. I didn't get to say bye. But I say that to say, Make sure you tell people that you love them because yes. you don't know who you going, who's going to be here today, tomorrow. So, yeah. Embrace those moments. But, yes, I didn't know that you knew who I was. Well, okay. yes, well, so... I have a TV along with the E-Guy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and, and I'm a fan. That's why you're here. You know Thank what I mean? Thank you so much. But I know I heard that, like, now what I did know is that we were in the same movie. Yeah, we, <laughs> me and, yeah, sometimes go ahead. Sometimes that happens, y'all. We could, you could film a movie or even record a song sometimes. Yeah. And not even know who on the record with you or not even know who's in the film with you. And so I had no idea. Absolutely. Okay, you do know what the movie was, right? Yes, baby, it's Sing. Sing. Yes, yes. Anybody watch the movie Sing? Okay. Okay. Yes. And so which, okay, so I know, I know what, so which See, I don't character? even know what I was. You don't even know what you were? I think I was a sheep. You? You were the shit. I was young Nano Nudeman. Once there was a way to get back home. Wait a minute. Once there was a way, that's me. You have, yo, yo, you have, oh my gosh. I think, did you have, you have one of my, my, my nephew's favorite lines in this movie. Did, well, oh, I, you don't have the money, do you? Did well, you say that? See, I was the singer. You were the singer. I was her singing voice. You was a singer. So that, but that's how I get the babies to know who I am. You okay. know, kids, they don't. Idol was what, 30 years ago? And yeah. so when it's little kids, I'd be like, fun still is a way to get back home. Like, do you know me now? Yeah, I can hear oh, it. But you have to send me, okay, what character did you play? I was uh, I was the grandpa elephant. That's who I was. I was Tori Kelly's uh, grandfather. That, yep, there you wow. go. Right in the middle. That's me. <laughs> At least you knew what animal you were. <laughs> hey, I, it was, I had so much fun doing it, and I used my uh, grandfather's voice for Really? It. Yeah. So that, that, that voice, I've known that voice for years. That's, that's Hallett Farrow, that's who that is. And he always used to tell me, hey, look, make sure, look, look, make sure you, you ain't gonna go through that. Hey, make sure you close the door, letting all the flies in here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> so that's, that's his voice, that's the same one. Oh so, my yeah. God! Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> wow! 
Wow. Oh, I even got a little singing in there, too. I was going to ask, do you sing? Yeah, I, I do sing, but I'm not. I'm the run of my family. It's, uh, it's my sister is amazing, and my mother is amazing. They both uh, sang in the choir. I sang in the transition team, too, but my sister is the elite. She can... Oh, she can sing, All sing. I do is to try. She can do that, you know come what I'm on. saying? That's her, yeah. Send her on over now. She, hey, she's in the back now. She'll come out now. Don't tell me, sister. Hey, look, sis in the back. She'll come, she she will come out. out. I ain't out. even lying. I mean, I got... need sister to come out. She we want sister to come out. <laughs> if you don't mind. No, I don't. No, no, I would love it. But it, while she on her way out... Yes. So all y'all discovered y'all talent Yo, in the church. In the church. And they were singing and you were doing what? I was, uh, I was doing impressions and, and joking people in the church. They ain't really like it, you know what I mean? <laughs> So, let, set but, this up for me. So, were you in the choir stand doing this, or were you in the congregation while the minister was preaching, and did you imitate? The, like, what were you... Yeah. I imitated the deacons. I imitated the, uh... I imitated, uh, my bishop. Yes, Bishop Omega, uh, uh definitely. He has a very grandiose, uh, very deep-type <laughs> prince voice, and he's like, all oh, the Lord, the word of God shall spread, and everybody shall receive the word of God. And, and yes, you got to get right, because yes, amen, he's coming any second now. And it's so, it's not, you know, the regular church is, ah, 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 oh, he yes. don't do none of that. You know, regular, That's regular, uh -huh. regular pastors sound kind of like Steve Harvey does, you know okay. what I mean? Yes. They got that, yeah, yeah, the Lord, the word of God. Oh, my God. Come through that. Do y'all hear that? gonna tear you up here because the Lord is working on your soul that, eh -he, eh -he. You know what I'm saying? How do you do this? Oh, no. It's, it's all, it's all by the Lord. <laughs> it's the Lord. It's oh, the my Lord. God. Did you hear that, Charles? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. And, and you can do all these voices, but you don't sing. Nah. I mean, I sing, I sing, too, but I'm saying, my sister is so good. Sis? Look. Oh, sister. Jennifer. Huh? She is so good at singing. Okay. What I would do while she was singing in the house, because she'd be killing it in the morning, she'd be, she'd be going, yeah! I'd be in the back, hoo, 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 yeah! That's <laughs> enough, you better sing. <laughs> you better sing, hold the line. Listen, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna bring sis back. So y'all sit coming. right there, we'll be right back. <laughs> y'all, we are back with the very funny Jay Farrell. <laughs> now, now, y'all ready for this? You ready for sis yeah. to come on out? You gonna call out for I'm us? I'm gonna call out. Ladies and gentlemen, straight from Indian River, Greenbrier, Chesapeake, Virginia, you might have seen him multiple pictures with me yes. also as my date at the awards, but not really my date because she's my sister. <laughs> we don't do that. Y'all give it up for Shayna Farrell! You came out here with come your on. mama. All right. Oh, this yeah. guy's a little, he's a little star already. I'm telling you, man. Yeah? He's already, uh, well, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about it a little bit. We okay. gonna talk about okay. it, you know what I mean? Why did you do this it. to me? What do you mean? <laughs> because you sing and I want Lord everybody. Lord have mercy. What, what Thankfully, I wore a cute shirt. See, you cute, honey. Parker picked out my earrings. You see that? Like... <laughs> they made sure you were together and ready. <laughs> but he, he couldn't have came out here and mentioned singing. Uh -huh. And his sister sings. And then he said you was backstage. I said, oh, hold the I line. Said, oh, I, was, I was watching like, oh, no, you, no, You, oh, you no. should have known. She, she looks great, doesn't she? She looks, she looks great. She looks great. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look your amazing. mama look good, don't she? <laughs> you right? She camera ready, right? You get a mic, boy. You want to like say that? something to the yeah. people? Tell me something. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm, I'm, I'm having a conversation with you and your uncle and your mom, and then I heard your mom's going to sing for me. What should she sing for me? In the name of love. In the name of love? Come on, in the name of love. Wow. That is That's coming from a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Shayna. Come on, Shayna. <laughs> you can reach me that railway. You can reach me by trailway. You can reach me on an airplane. You can reach me with your mind. You can reach me by caravan. Cross the desert like an airplane. And 
I don't care how you get here, just get here if you can. Baby. See, that's, I call that flat foot and sang it. You don't need no notice. You don't need no music. You don't need nothing. You just say, what you want me to sing? And you start singing. You did that, honey. <laughs> and what do you do, young man? Tell me about yourself. I dance. You dance? I heard uh, you can do some impressions, too. Uh-huh. You don't have the money, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Hold the line, baby. More with Jay after this. Y'all, we are back with Jay Farrell. Yes, ma'am. Now, we're gonna play a little game, okay, y'all? Everybody ready? You're gonna give us some impressions, okay. and I'm gonna give you a person and a topic, and then you're gonna take it away. All right. Oh, I, I cannot wait for this. This is gonna be so fun. All right. I'm giving you Denzel Washington, and the topic is your shopping at the grocery store. And I love this face you got on already. <laughs> you see his face? <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Well, uh, you know, the problem, you know, first of all, this isn't a Whole Foods, this is a Walmart here, okay? So everything is, uh, <clears throat> you know, I just wish that there was more things in here that were plant-based and nutritious, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Maybe some berries, some fruits and berries. I can do that, you know. But as far as the chicken goes, I will not eat it, okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay, okay. Y'all gotta get out of here. <laughs> that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Okay. okay, okay, okay. Dang, the, your setup don't even take long. You just like get right into it. And I get just... right, yeah, right into it. You and know, is you it a face for each other? It's the, it's the, yeah, it's the face. You gotta, you gotta like, as soon as you get in the face, then you know what I mean. Okay. You can get okay. right into it. Don't, don't... See, I, look, look, I'm coming back down to myself. It's crazy, right? Yeah. You know hey, I mean? Okay, okay. <laughs> I got another. I got another one. President Obama. Oh, and President Biden. Okay. So wait a minute. You both? Can you yeah. handle? Yeah, I can do, do that. You can do both. I can do that. Okay. Do that. Now you're attending a costume party. What is that like? Let's find out. Uh, well, <clears throat> uh, well, uh, as far as, uh, as far as putting on something to, uh, hide what I look like, I think that would be, uh, absolutely, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I don't think it would be, I don't think it would be advantageous for me to put on something <laughs> that would cover this black, beautiful face. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Here, here's the deal. Everybody listen up. Everybody, forget about, forget about putting costumes on and everything. Just get vaccinated. Everybody <laughs> needs to get vaccinated. If you get vaccinated, we'll have something called herd immunity. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We'll give you a bag of weed. Come on, man. We'll do that, man. Come on, come on man. Everybody likes <laughs> I need more. I need more. I can't, I can't. I'm so in awe right yeah. now. Okay, okay. Huh? You said Somebody something Somebody said Eddie Murphy. Eddie, oh, Eddie. Uh, hey, I ain't no jukebox, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that's funny, but, but you know, go ahead and put the scenario up so people can see it. The eyes, too? Y'all see this? Yeah, yes, yes. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, okay. It's been a while since we got to work together, so you know what? Maybe you just read the Cause card. Because we did, too, yeah, girl. Yeah, 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 let's do it. All right. Yeah, Jimmy oh my got God. soul. Jimmy got soul. Wait, 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 what was my part? What was my part? What was my part? I can't think of my part. Cause I got, you know, I got, I feel like Eddie right here at the piano. Somebody oh, just, Charles, you played the piano for me. Come on, come on. Round and around. Huh. And you said something about hit me. See, I, said, I went, you, that took me back to drink girl. Yeah. Huh. And I said, round and around. I feel like Eddie right here. Okay, that just yeah. took me out. Okay, okay. And then it brings me to Jamie Foxx, because yeah. he was in Dream Girls too. If you yeah. ain't seen the movie, yeah. so was I, wait, and wait, so wait, was wait. Eddie Murphy. Wait, 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 okay, what well, we got? Wait, 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 wait one second before he you still even has go. Eddie. Yeah, because before you go, you got to get the scenario and everything. So yes, get yes. the people the scenario. Okay. Yes, yes. You're Come giving on. a present. Mm hmm. Okay. Do y'all see this? Yes, I'm giving a present. Who? Okay, I'm giving okay, a present. Okay, so you're Jamie Foxx, uh -huh. and you're giving a, a present. You know what, man? What the fizzle? What the fizzy? You know what's easy? 
you know, it's easy for me to just talk to you because yeah. it's been so long since we had this encounter. Yo, it is. You understand? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the present of giving you your flowers because you are absolutely phenomenal. And I would like to tell everybody out there, isn't she phenomenal? She's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. See? Give uh. <laughs> yeah, this man another hand. That was crazy amazing. Oh, my God. We, okay. Thank you for coming by. We, I, I thought you had somebody else. We was going to get up there. Man, look, I don't look, want look, it to see, end, right? See, see this? People just, they, they want Kevin for something. Okay, you can do Kevin for yeah, us? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's listen, Kevin doing? Uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. Here, here's the thing that I like about you. Uh, it's the fact that you got an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony, <laughs> and you got your own show, so what you're trying to do is take over the world. I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> I dig it. All right, yeah. okay. Go to jfarrowworld.com and get your tickets to see uh, Jay live. Y'all, we gonna be right back, listen. Now, usually I get into y'all business, but I heard y'all wanna switch it up and get into mine. So let's hear some questions from my audience. Who's first? Hello. Hi. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Lily and I'm from right here in Southern, Southern California. All right, Lily. <laughs> let's see, what's your question? Well, you have done so many iconic performances. Thank you. I'm wondering who were you most nervous to perform for? Ooh, child, hold on. Uh, I would have to, yeah, I was nervous for Whitney too, but see, Whitney had this spirit though that would calm you down. You know what I mean? She's like that homegirl, I miss her so much. Um, but I would have to say, singing for Denzel Washington. Yes. Oh. yes. Y'all, woo child. And it didn't hit me until I got there and I was so nervous and like, it, it felt like, Singing for the president, if not more nerve wracking, you know, because you can never get used to doing that. But that's the one that took me out. Singing for Thank you. Denzel Washington. Yes. Thank you. Who's next? Hello. Hello. What's your name and where are you from? Ashante. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Nice. Okay. So my question for you is who is your current celeb crush? Yes. <laughs> Girl, uh, so let's see, I don't know if this qualifies, but because it's the character that he plays that I'm in okay. love with. So Chicago Fire, the chief. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you don't know, girl, go look it up. Oh my God. I, I, yes, I have the biggest, biggest crush on, on, on them as the character though. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I hope that was enough. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Denise, I'm from Toronto, Canada. Ah, I used yeah. to live in Toronto. Uh, what's your question? When you were alone in the car, what is your favorite ta song to sing? And could you give us a few bars? Ooh. I see how you did that. Oh my God, favorite song, girl, sing whatever I hear on the radio, hold on. Uh, I do love Aretha. What you, baby, I got what you need. You know I got it, all I'm asking is what? For a little respect we get up. There you go. <laughs> we love Aretha, so I have to talk to her. That was a good one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, what's your name, where are you from? Hi, I'm Dominique. Dominique. I'm from Southern California. Nice. What's your question, Dominique? Um, I wanna know what's your favorite um, Cold Stone order? Cold Stone order? Yeah. Girl, I was just at Cold Stone. Hold on. <laughs> See, I go there when I need to celebrate. Okay, but uh, Chocolate Devotion Ooh. is my favorite. Um, but this is a serious decision because, girl, that'd be my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? <laughs> so I literally stand there. People are like, you, you're like, no, no, you go ahead, you go ahead. And I just sit there and I study it until I can make sure I make a wise, conscious decision. But most of the time, I go with Chocolate Devotion. <laughs> so I can put the brownie in the inside and wish it up. Okay, who's next? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? What's your name and where are you from? I'm good. I'm Kayla and I'm from Orange County, California. Orange County. <laughs> okay. 
So Claire, you clearly you have amazing fashion sense just looking at your outfit right now. I, <laughs> I wanted to know what has been your favorite red carpet look? Oh, oh, chat. Okay, oh, <laughs> I enjoy my look recently from uh, the Golden Globes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> CD Green, it was lovely. Uh, you Baby, I love that look. That was my moment. I was like, I said, oh, y'all gonna see me today, honey. <laughs> that was my, that was my subtext for girl trying to get in the car in that dress. I think there needs to be a manual on how to properly get in, in, into a vehicle in a gown. <laughs> oh, it was a process. Um, and then, wait, ooh, I have another one. Um, I had on an orange dress. I think it was Donatella Versace, maybe from like 2011, uh, Oscars. Can you think you can, oh my God, that look? That was one of my favorite looks as well. And you know you love an outfit when you don't want to take it off. <laughs> and you still twirl around in it. And that one I could actually get in the car in, but I couldn't get around the awards because everywhere, some people's like, I love your dress, I love your dress. And I was like, oh God, thank you. Oh, but I'm trying to get to my seat. But that is definitely one of my favorite looks too. Thank you thank so much. You. <laughs> Thank y'all for getting into my business. We'll be right back. Our next guest stars in the hit show, Call Me Cat. Y'all take a look. Excuse me, ladies. We haven't been this busy since they used this place as a storm shelter. I mean, Hurricane Chelsea was Hurricane choo choo <laughs> Well, I don't like to say I told you so, but I'm beautiful, smart, and not humble, so I told you so. <laughs> yeah, Middle C is popping. Let's get Norval Redenbacher up in here. Come on, Kat, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh. I hope our baby's not too funny. Right, right. <laughs> this is why we need more black friends. <laughs> Give it up for Kyla Pratt, y'all! I'm such a fan. I've always been a fan. I'm such a fan. I'm like, let me make sure I'm sitting in the right. I'm gonna scoot over you a little sit bit. Whatever you want, girl. You are. I'm so everything. excited to be here with my Virgo sister. Oh my god, are you Virgo too? Yes, I am. You are? September 16th. Are you? I'm September 12th. Yes! Wow! Virgos oh my god. Any, any Virgos in house? Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. I never knew that. Yes. Because I feel like I wa we all watched you grow up. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, yes. I uh, started in this business very, very early. Very so, early. So, but I've been watching you my entire oh my, life. Oh my so, god. Everybody's like, do you want to come to? I'm like, what, what you mean? What kind of question is this? Ah! What kind of question? Of course I want to sit down. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much. Wow. As if, as, if, as if she doesn't do everything already. Oh, goodness. She was like, you Stop. know what? I should just do a talk show. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know, I love people, so I just want to chit chat. Yeah. But I hear, okay, we both work with Eddie Murphy. Yes. What was your experience like? Uh, my expe experience with Eddie Murphy was absolutely amazing. Yes. I first worked with him when I was nine years old nine? on Dr. Doolittle. Wow. And, yes. And I, I, I feel like he was the first person that I ever watched um, be on set and, and just be a light and have great energy. And then when it was time to work, it was time to work. Right. So it kind of taught me how to maintain my energy on set. Like mm -hmm. we're here to have a good time, but we also here to make something happen. Yes. So uh, my experiences with him was amazing. Same for me. Like. I was like, my first film was with him. So yours was like, at nine, and then my first film was oh like with Eddie Murphy in Dream Girls, if y'all ain't see it. So that was an ex interesting experience. Oh my God. And then you had to, you got to work with animals, because I love some animals. I cannot get movie. away from animals. I literally- You work with them a lot. I love them, I love them. Don't get me wrong, I love animals. <laughs> but I, I did uh, Dr. Doolittle with Eddie Murphy, and then I did number two with him as well. Wow. And then um, we did some straight to DVD videos where I became the doctor. Right, so I, I remember that, girl. Yes, and then I did Hotel for Dogs, and now I'm on a show called Call Me Cat. And, <laughs> and I was like, I cannot get away from animals, but I've had uh, great experiences with them. I, I will say, uh, one of, I had a, a phone call with one of your producers, and it reminded me of a very traumatic experience I had with okay. an animal. Um, and uh, they had to get like this rooster to peck <laughs> at my feet, Ooh. and so they put worms in my shoelaces. Girl? Yeah, and uh, uh -huh. you know, so to have anxiety and act like you don't, I feel like you I- You were acting then. I said, honey, you an actress. Um, and how old were you then? <laughs> I was, I was 18 then. 
Oh, Lord. I was 18 then. Oh, so. my God. So I have to ask, do you have any pets? I do. You do? I what you got? I have a little Yorkie named Moon Angel. Oh. Yes. And my sweet. babies take care of her all the time. And she's, she's the sweetest little thing. <laughs> <laughs> so people know you from Proud Family. Yes. I am Kenny Proud. Family. <laughs> family. Yes. Yes. Do, can you can you give your impersonation of your oh, character Oh gosh, for us? Um, I think the people ask you to do that a lot. People ask me to do it a lot, and I think the main <laughs> thing they always ask me to say is, "I'm Penny Proud, I'm cute and I'm loud, and I got it going on." Yes! Oh my God! Yes, and and that's been absolutely amazing because we first started Proud Family when I was 14 years old and we recorded for a couple years and then we just came back with the Proud Family Louder and Prouder on Disney Plus. Oh, I'm watching and that. Yes, our second season is premiering soon um, and I'm just, I'm having a ball, you know? Wow. A lot of people don't get to be the same character from 20 years ago yes. and see their growth, so I'm just having fun. Wow. Hey, <laughs> tell me about your show, Call Me Cat. So, Call Me Cat is a show uh, starring Mayim Bialik, who a lot of you know and love. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a show about a woman who basically uh, society is telling her that she doesn't have it all. She's not married, she's single, she has no kids. And uh, she just decides, you know what, I don't care. I have all that I need and I'm gonna take my money that my parents saved and I'm gonna open up a cat cafe because I wanna save animals and feed my community and that's how I show love. And um, I play a barista in the shop um, who doesn't really like cats. Uh, so that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, her character and I become really good friends. And we have an amazing, amazing cast. I'm so, I'm always very fortunate to work with great people. I hear stories in this industry about different, you yes. know, situations. And I'm just, either people hear I'm crazy before and they decide maybe I shouldn't do that in front of her. <laughs> uh, but it's great to work with people who love what they do and want it to be amazing yes. all around. And um, yeah, I'm a Virgo, so I know, I, you know, you know what's like. Like, have a positive, I want to be good a, environment. Whatever I'm a part of, that's we finna right. make this right. That's right. You know what I'm good saying? Good energy so, and look yeah. very professional. You know, so I to be around say. people with, with great energy as well yes. is a bonus. So. All right, until then, y'all can catch Call Me Cat Thursdays <laughs> at 9.30 on Fox. Bye. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.